Yeah, I'm switching over my closet right now. Can I call you back? Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show is in three weeks and I'm currently switching over my closet because I actually need some of my spring summer stuff for this collab that I'm doing with the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. And by the time you guys actually watch this video, that reel on my Instagram will already be up so you guys can go check it out. I'm gonna be linking it down below for you guys. I am also filming today, so this is gonna be like a vlog of me switching over my closet. So I'm not gonna go too much in depth today, um, but that video will already be up on my channel. So I'm gonna be linking that down below as well. I honestly hope the weather holds up because we had a couple of really nice days but we've had a couple of cold days the past few days and it's a little bit chilly today so I'm hoping that the weather drastically changes so that I'm not actually freezing without my like fall winter stuff yeah I'm kind of a little sad to see my fall winter stuff go because I feel like it's a little bit early but it is what it is it doesn't have to be too like in fall what if we do like a few short ones. And we can just like post like yeah, all of them leading up to the show. And yeah, I think that's a great idea. And like, yeah, I like the idea of like shorter, more like easy to just like loom like this back wall. Okay. But the, the sock with my coat on it is like all the skirts. Oh, okay. Wearing. I want to make sure that whatever I'm featuring, like you guys are actually Yes, yeah, 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 exactly. And then this strap as well. This is actually most of you stuff. Like I love this. This is so cute. Oh my god, if this is my size. Do you have any 30s in my size? This 1920s dress. Oh my god. Again, if this fit me, look at how beautiful this pattern is. So pretty. <laughs> Oh, I've got to watch out so you'll never know how much I love you. And I've got to close up. I got you. A few. <laughs> oh, thank you. I tried something to see if it would work, but like I don't know if I'm too awkward for it. <laughs> it looks so cute. It's so cute. And the little oh. matching jacket. Oh my god, I got so oh, oh my god, stop it, give me the hat. <laughs> the hat and the sunnies. Oh my god, which one are we doing? I think we were doing the round ones. Oh my god, this is so cute. But I kind of want to show this. I feel like I need yeah. to show it without and with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cute. Okay, I made it a little boomerang. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Okay, I need to think. It's like, I don't know why they don't make bathing suits. Like, I know. Like, with this little skirt. You know what I mean? Like, it's so it flattering. honestly looks, it's so cute. Like, it's so flattering. It's way more flattering than, like, the yeah. higher <laughs> short little skirt. But, like, yeah, it works so in a flirty. bathing suit. It, it is very flirty. Mm -hmm. I know, like I would love to wear this. <laughs> I literally love this for it's so long. So it's so cute. I do like the idea of this. I like the belt. It's really, really cute. I do like it with this hat too. Like, I feel like it's like a complete outfit yeah. all together. Can I take a little, like, yeah. BTS if you try it on? One, two, go. Mm. So 
every time that I, I come in, I'm like, it over you. Ah, I think the scarf helps because I'm always so worried about getting like, yeah. even when I'm like moving my arm up to like put my arm through the sleeve, I just don't yeah. want to get makeup on things. Okay. I couldn't help myself and I ended up getting the set because I have literally been eyeing it for so long and then I also got this blue hat and these little gloves because they are so cute. So today I'm filming the reel for the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. Literally the reason why I had to switch over my closet. Um, so I'm styling five different outfits for five different occasions incorporating vintage pieces. So I've been trying to think of like what occasions I could mention or like style. Um, obviously they have to be more spring summer because it's like the spring Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. So this is the list that I came up with. So I have picnic, beach, afternoon tea, theater, garden party, Sunday stroll, and tennis, just because I think it would be really cute. I feel like I have to have theater because it's kind of like the only like super fancy one that I have. I really like the idea of picnic and beach because I have that beach cover up that I showed in my closet swap video. I like the idea of Sunday stroll because I feel like I could play up the accessories a little bit more and it's more of like a vintage um, like activity, so I think that would be really cute and I really like tennis So I think one two three four five. I think those might be my five So I have my Garmin rack here and I'm gonna be styling some outfits Let's start with tennis because I feel like I'm kind of excited about that one. I think it would be really cute um, I have those cream skirts something like this would be really cute I think I have this sweater it's like a vintage Wilson sports like you know Wilson like the sports equipment and I'm not really sure what year it's from because because of how bright this red is I kept thinking that it was more of like a 1970s piece but the label is really old let me zoom in I tried looking it up and I saw some from the 50s that had a more modern label so I'm not really sure it could be older it could be like a heritage kind of like throwback label and they just made it older I'm not really sure if you know let me know but I feel like the cream with this would look really cute I also have a tennis racket I'm gonna go grab that I have like a like an old tennis racket oh maybe like that little beret that in the 1930s kind of like little beret on the side that could be really cute so that's one Okay, let's do Sunday stroll. I was thinking, only because I have it like literally right here, I have this dress. I showed it to you guys in my closet swap video. I feel like this would be perfect for a Sunday stroll. It's a 1940s dress. This, and then I have the hat. I feel like that could be really cute. Oh, for the tennis look, I'm thinking these kind of like leather Oxfords. And then for this, I'm thinking just like these little heels probably. <music> Okay, I'm kind of thinking of these gloves. It's not a perfect match, but I think it's fine. Picnic. Maybe this dress could be kind of nice for a picnic. I was gonna feature this dress, but I just showed this in my last reel, so I don't want to be too repetitive. So I think I'm gonna lean with this one, but I'm gonna put this here as a backup just in case. And I feel like this maybe with like a cardigan, like something like this maybe like this for a picnic and then like a basket. I could even do these like light pink sandals maybe. I feel like that could look cute. Obviously for beach, I need to do my bathing suit cover up. It like ties here at the front and it's so cute. And maybe some sunglasses. Okay, but which pair of sunglasses? Do I do these ones or do I go for more of like a nude? Or should I try the red ones maybe? Wait, what if I do this? For this, I was thinking like a hat, but I feel like something like this could be really cute and it matches perfectly, so let's do that. I have this red one that I can wear underneath this. I have this 1940s dress that could work for like a night on the theater type thing. Um, and I also have like these little opera glasses maybe, and I think I have a bunch of playbills in my memory box, so I can pull one of those out. Okay, I collected some accessories. So I have this little half hat. It's blue, but I feel like in the clip you won't really be able to tell. But I feel like that maybe would give it a little bit more color, kind of. Um, because my other option is like this black hat that has this like feather on it, which is really cute, but I feel like it's too much black. Um, then I have the Phantom of the Opera program, and then I have these little glasses. I feel like the light is disappearing. I don't know what is going on lately. The lighting has been like crazy. It was kind of sunny earlier because there's like a huge snowstorm coming. I know, I don't even want to talk about it. I know I already switched over my closet. We're supposed to be getting like 10 centimeters of snow, um, but that's happening later tonight, so I thought it'd be a little bit sunnier. It's not. <laughs> I 
am obsessed with this outfit. Like, who wants to come play tennis with me? And by play, I mean, like, stand around and take pictures. But, like, how cute! I have the little socks with the little Oxfords, the skirt, the hat, the racket. Love, love, love. Someone take me to the beach. I love this swimsuit and I literally have not had a chance to wear it, but it is everything. <sighs> okay, so I just finished filming and this battery is like about to die so hopefully it was okay the lighting has like disappeared it started snowing so I'm hoping that the lighting was okay I guess time will tell this literally it's like about to die so I'll see you guys later bye Sorry, I had to turn a light on. It is so dark outside today. I think it's raining and we're supposed to be getting some snow later today, which is not ideal. But I've been at home since yesterday working on this blog post and I just posted it. And it is basically my Toronto Vintage Clothing Show shopping list. And I am so excited. I'm gonna be linking it down below in case you guys are interested in checking it out. The main two things that I'm shopping for is a 1940s brown fan bag and then also a 1930s cream tilt hat. I feel like that would be so cute. So those are the two main things that I'm going to be shopping for. I obviously didn't list like every single thing that I want to shop for at the vintage show because that list would go on forever. I just kind of mentioned the main ones that I'm searching for, like what kind of colors or styles. Obviously 1930s, 1940s. I'm also limiting myself to only buying things from those decades. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Make sure you guys check it out if you are interested in seeing what kind of things I'm shopping for. Um, but yeah, today's Tuesday. The vintage show is on Saturday. So there is less than a week left. So it is crunch time. I have so many things that I have to do before the vintage show. Like I have to pick up my outfits. I have to pack my purse. I have to get cash. I should write that down. I really have to get cash. Um... Oh my god, I managed to find a small window where it's not raining that I could actually leave my house and my hair today actually turned out so cute but I just it always happens that it looks nice on a day where it's raining and it's gonna get ruined anyway but I just wanted to document that before we leave. Um, we are going to Vintage Sobi, which is another vendor that is going to be at the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. So, yeah, that's basically the plan. Hello! Hi! How are you, Val? Good, how are you? Excellent. Making your rounds before the Toronto Show? I am! That's literally why I'm here, actually. Just left Vintage So Geek and I actually found something that is on my Toronto Vintage Clothing Show shopping list. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to wait until I actually do the haul for the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show, but it is absolutely incredible. Okay, so I am bringing back my garment rack because it is the day for the vintage show and I wanted to pick up my outfits or like what things I'm going to be wearing. Um, I do like to dress up for the vintage show. I think it's really, really fun. You guys are probably watching this video being like, Carolina, why do you take the vintage show so seriously? Like, why do you do so much prep for it? And honestly, I feel like this is my fashion week. Like, do you guys remember when like the big fashion bloggers would all go to like all the fashion weeks, like Paris Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week and have like fashion month content? And I feel like I would get so excited to watch that sort of thing just because I'd never 
I would never get a chance to do that. Like none of us are gonna get a chance to do that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's a very select group of people. So I feel like this is kind of like my equivalent to that, or at least in my head it is. And I can just like dress up and like be around other people that are into the same things that I'm into. And like, I get to see some of you guys. And I also get to see a lot of like the vendors that I shop from and just like people that I've become friends with over the years just from being in the industry. And I don't know, it's just like a really fun event for me. However, I do have to keep in mind that I have to wear things that it's easy to take on and off just because I am trying things on. It's not like when you go to a store and you can just kind of like grab everything and go to the change room once. It's like every booth, if you're going to try something on from different vendors, you have to kind of go to the change room, try it on, come back and then go back again based on each booth. So it has to be something that's really easy to take on and off. Um, so yeah, let's start planning some outfits. Also, I already picked something that I'm going to be hanging here. If you watch my closet declutter videos, I found something to hang there, but it's actually something pretty amazing that I found on eBay um, and I haven't shown it in a haul yet so I think I might have to film another haul next month and then I'll show you guys what that piece is. Anyway, sorry to keep you in suspense. Um, okay, so I have a couple of ideas. So this is one dress. I'm kind of thinking maybe a dress like this would be really cute. It's a beautiful color. It has like this cute little detail here. And my mom is actually coming with me on the first day to help me film a few things. So she can help me with the buttons that are here at the back. Um, but I have to try it on. I don't remember exactly how easy it is to take on and off. And I feel like this with like my big like black like 1940s hat could be really cute. And, like, some black heels um so this is one option i also was thinking of maybe um, i have this like 1940s set so it's this skirt looks like this and then this blazer stuff like this is really really easy it can look really dressed up and then also it's really easy to take on and off because it's just a skirt um, and a blazer it's mostly just like the dresses that are kind of annoying to be honest i also have another set so i have this one it's like a dark gray it's a wool 1940 set and then it has this little jacket i feel like i've shown this in a video before um and then maybe i can add like a big flower brooch just to kind of make it look a little bit cuter so that's another option okay, i also have this like uh, 1930s reproduction suit set that i got from the ian drummond studio and it looks like this it's like a plum kind of a burgundy color it's really beautiful it has this beautiful detailing like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like around the collar here, it's so cute. And then I also have the little matching skirt. And there's also a matching belt, which is really cute. I was also kind of thinking maybe this suit set looks like this. It's a dress and a jacket, and I would wear it with like a white blouse underneath probably and I have like a red hat um, I did wear that in a blog post I'll insert the photo here on the screen so you guys can see it so that's another option that I could wear I feel like these might be my best option so I think I'm gonna try some of these looks on I'm still torn between if I want to show you guys my outfits that I'm gonna be wearing or if I should leave it as a surprise when you guys actually watch the vlog maybe I will do that maybe I will keep you guys in suspense as to what I'm actually wearing for the vintage show um, but know that these are my main options right now. So I was gonna put on an actual outfit for the last portion of this video, but I really like this color on me, so I guess we're finishing off the video in a robe. Um, so for the last segment of this video, I wanted to share some tips and tricks for shopping the vintage show. So the first tip that I have is to bring cash. Um, yes, most of the vendors do take cards. However, not all of them do, so it's always nice to just have, have a little bit of extra cash just in case. It also keeps you on budget. If you are on a stricter budget, having physical money is always really helpful just to stay on budget however if you do want to grab a little bit of extra cash there is an ATM on site so don't worry if you find yourself at a vendor that doesn't accept cash and you ran out of cash there is an ATM tip number two is to bring a measuring tape there are change rooms that you can go into but sometimes it's just honestly just annoying and you just want to measure things I feel like it just makes it a little bit easier especially with like circle skirts and stuff like that you can just measure the waist and you're good to go um, so just bringing a measuring tape like a small one you can get them at like fabric land or online somewhere tip number three is to wear something that easy to take on and off so I briefly mentioned this but you're gonna be going back and forth into the change room so wearing things that are annoying to take on and off is gonna make the experience so unpleasant so avoid wearing things that have too many buttons or zippers that you can't reach on your own um, also avoiding things that are just uncomfortable to take on and off like they might be a little bit smaller I know a lot of like vintage clothes like from like the 40s have the side zippers so they're annoying to take on and off so I personally avoid wearing those pieces going back into the change room tip number four 
is to wear something underneath your clothes that's like tight fitting. So the change room is basically like an open space. So there's mirrors and then there's like little chairs or like stools that you can put your stuff on. Um, but it is basically like an open space. You're not changing in like individual change rooms. So I'm not the most comfortable changing in front of other people. So I typically wear like a bodysuit, my tights, like my nude tights, and like some form of slip or like garter of some sort. I'm uh, not garter, <laughs> girdle of some sort. In the past, I have worn like a black tank top and black tights. So it almost feels like you're really covered up. But if that's like not an issue for you, then totally skip this step. Okay, so tip number five is to use a purse that is not uncomfortable to carry around. And honestly, I feel like I need to follow this step because I always struggle with this because I have to pick a bag that has a top handle that can fit on the crook of my arm because I don't like crossbody bags personally, but that's honestly the best choice. Like if you like crossbody bags, use a crossbody bag because you want to have your hands free. You want to be going through all the vintage pieces. You don't want to be like uncomfortable carrying like a clutch of some sort. Um, so if you do like crossbody bags, wear crossbody bags. And if you don't like crossbody bags like me, then use one that has a big enough handle that can go on the crook of your arm so you can still kind of use both hands. Tip number six kind of piggybacks on it, but don't use big backpacks. The vintage show gets very crowded. So you don't want to have like this huge backpack swinging around or like hitting people or like since it is the boots are pretty small you don't want to have a huge backpack and like accidentally knock something over there are a lot of vintage pieces there so just something to be mindful just to make the experience a little bit more pleasant for everybody tip number seven is to get there early and I know not everybody likes to wake up early on a Saturday or a Sunday morning but you honestly do have more selection when you go earlier in the day and I feel like in the early morning it starts to get pretty busy and then in the late afternoon it kind of like dies off a little bit and it's a little bit more not quiet because it's still busy but it's not as busy as like around lunchtime um, but obviously the selection keeps getting smaller and smaller as the day goes on so if you get there early then you have more access to more things because the selection hasn't been like bought out do you know what I mean so I always like to get there like super early tip number eight kind of goes hand in hand with the last one but I personally like to go on both days because the sellers obviously know that their stuff is going to be bought out and they don't want to have an empty booth so of course they restock it for the Sunday so you never know maybe your dream vintage piece has been restocked for the Sunday and you went on the Saturday so I don't know I'm just gonna put it out there I like to go both days and my last tip tip number nine is actually kind of like my strategy for how I shop at the vintage show so what I like to do is I like to start off in like one corner and then I do like a really quick like super fast lap going through every single booth and then once I get to the very end I start back at the very beginning and I do a very slow lap and I feel like I need to do this because I get so stressed out because I'm like oh my god I'm gonna miss out on something like I want to get like a general sense of like what kind of pieces are available at the vintage show just to know like how I spend my money do you know what I mean and then I feel like that one first lap is like me being like super anxious and stressed because I get like major FOMO if somebody else gets a vintage piece that I've been dreaming about and then the slow lap is kind of just me enjoying the show and going through everything and like chit chatting and like talking a little bit more so I don't know that's just the way that I like to shop at the vintage show maybe that's just me being like absolutely crazy and like just loving vintage pieces or vintage clothes that I'm just like oh my god I cannot miss out on something <laughs> Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the past few weeks getting ready for the vintage show. It is so dark outside. I hope this lighting is okay. Um, I have to shower, set my hair. I have to be there like super early. So I feel like I'm going to go to bed really early tonight. And I don't know, I was kind of thinking that maybe I could paint my nails. I never paint my nails. You guys know, if you've been watching my channel, you know my nails are never done. But I was kind of thinking about it, but... Realistically, am I gonna do that? Probably not. I like to pretend that I am like one of those girls that is constantly doing their nails, but I feel like I spend so much time on my hair already as it is that like, I don't need another like high maintenance thing in my life. If you do see me while you're shopping around, please come up and say hi. I love meeting you guys at the vintage show. Show me what things you're buying. I had some people last time that they were showing me like a little haul as they were, when I was talking to them, they were like pulling things out that they had bought. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing ever. So if you do see me, say hi, show me what you're buying. Show me what you're looking for. I don't know. Just chit chat i love meeting you guys um so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos like my toronto vintage clothing show vlog and haul um also follow me on instagram because i'm going to be posting in real time so make sure you guys are following me on there at care ping low i'm going to put it on the screen as well as linking it down in the description box um and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye I am so sorry. I feel like I just like speed talked that entire outro. I am so sorry. I'll be better after the vintage show, guys.